In this video, we're going to be creating a new Lovelace dashboard that gives you what you want, when you want it. Make sure you stick around and if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button below and keep an eye out for more videos. Hi, I'm Will from Will Surridge Tech, and today we're going to be creating a new Lovelace dashboard. And this dashboard is going to give you what you want, when you want it, and it's going to adapt throughout the day. First of all, we're going to add some sensors to allow us to control this dashboard, and then we'll create the dashboard itself. So let's get going. Right, so the first thing we need to do is add some sensors. And the first sensor we're going to add is this Workday sensor. It's built-in sensor into Home Assistant, so you've just got to add it to your configuration. And this Basically, it will take the work days and it will use the days of the week uh, minus any holidays, public holidays for your country, so it needs to know your country. And then it will just output that as a binary sensor, so it's either a work day or it's not a work day. If you have a slightly more complicated setup, if you're working flexibly and you're working weekends or whatever, then you could use something like a calendar and get the sensor information from that, um, or a slightly more complicated template sensor. But for now, we're just going to use this. So we're going to copy this YAML, go into our configuration file, editor inside Visual Studio Code and Home Assistant, and we're going to add the binary sensor. And of course, I'm not in DE, I am in GB. So we're going to add that, we can save that, and then we're going to need a template sensor. And this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. So our sensor is going to be of platform template. And we can give it a name and a value template. There we go. And this value template, I'm just going to copy and paste in and tab in. So you can see what's going on. Okay. So we can walk through this. So we're first of all looking at whether it's a workday or not. So if the workday sensor is on, so it's a workday, then we go through this bit. Else we go through this bit. So that means it's, you know, a weekend. Um, and then we're looking at the time, and this is using the today at template, which is just being released in the latest version of Home Assistant. So make sure you're update, up to date for that. And we're basically going to split our day into various sections based on the time. So if it's before 9.15, then it's a morning. And if it's the work day, then it's a work morning. Otherwise, I've made it 10.15, so I have a line, and made it a weekend morning. And then if it's before five o'clock, it's a work day. Before eight o'clock, it's the evening, otherwise it's the night. And the same at the weekend, 10.15 is the morning. Before five is the day, before eight is the evening, otherwise it's the night. You may want to split this up even more. You might have a morning and an afternoon. You might have a morning, a lunchtime, an afternoon. Obviously, the more of these you include and the more complicated you make this template sensor, the more options you have when it comes to your dashboard and how many different changes you want to it during the time. So once that's done, we can save that and we can restart Home Assistant. And once Home Assistant has restarted, we can go into our developer tools and we can check our workday sensor. And our workday sensor is on because it's a workday. We can also check our Lovelace, Lovelace time of day, and it's saying it's evening. Now, for some reason, it likes to put this funny arrow space before the actual state. I don't know why that is. If someone knows, let me know down below because I've never seen it before in any of my templates. So it seems odd, but there we go. And from here, we can then make our dashboard. So now we're in our Lovelace, we can add some cuts, and this is where it gets a little bit complicated. Basically, we're going to be adding a heck of a lot of conditional cards, and our conditional cards are going to be based off Lovelace time of day. And the first one we're going to want is a morning, basically. And if it's morning, then we're going to want 
an entities card with some useful things in the morning. For example, our bedroom light, our bedroom media player, and our cave media player. So that basically just means we have quick access to turning the music off in the bedroom after the alarm's gone off and to start music in the cave when we go in there. Obviously the light should come on automatically when we're in there, um, but it gives us that kind of control. And what we can also do is title this card morning, just to help you see what's going on. Um, you may find that that's a bit ugly once they're actually displaying, but it might be quite nice. And then what we're going to do is just duplicate it because that's easiest. And we'll have a workday card. And this card is going to have our cave media player. It's going to have our cave main light. And it's going to have the desk light. And of course, we need to rename it to workday. And then we can repeat this as many times as we want for all our different states. I'll do one more. We can do the evening, because that's what it currently is. And in the evening, I want the room media player, and I want the theatre light in the sitting room. There we go. Nice and simple. Oh, and we need to rename it, obviously. And that is kind of as simple as it is. And if we close this, then you'll see that the only card that stays here is none of them. And that's not good because it is the evening. And the reason for that is because it's not arrow space evening. It's actually arrow space space evening. And it's space space workday. And it's space space morning. So when we close that, now the evening card appears. And it does look a bit odd that it's over here on desktop. Um, but believe me, on well, mobile, it crams itself down and goes into the right place. Now, this is great because it's giving you exactly what you want, exactly when you want it. But what if there's more that you do want? And what we're going to do now is create a very simple little card at the bottom that links out into other places. So we're going to need a vertical stack. And in that, we're going to need two horizontal stacks because I've got two main types of dashboard that I use. I have one that's room based and one that's kind of entity type based. In our first horizontal stack, we want a lot of buttons. And these buttons are going to navigate. So the first one is going to navigate to rooms slash bedroom. And we can change the icon to bed. And then what we can do, if we're clever, is view the code editor. And we can just copy this down. And we'll change the icon to a few different things. And that's the first one. And then the second one, as I said, is entity based. So again, we'll do the same sort of thing. We'll navigate to slash type slash light, and we'll give that a nice light bulb. And then we'll go back into the code editor, copy and paste this a few times. And we can have media, we can have heating, we can have CCTV. And then because this isn't conditional, this will always sit here. So no matter what kind of day it is, these buttons will always be here and we can navigate around. Now that you've seen how to make it. Let's have a look at the one that I'm actually using. And don't get me wrong, there is still a lot of refinement. Entity cards are still very ugly. Um, so I'm looking to change that to button cards that respond to the state of things. 
and to make it a bit you know prettier, a bit more designed uh, going forwards. But at the top, we've obviously got the time because that's a useful thing to have. And then we've got the weather because, again, useful thing to have. And they stay there no matter what, what state of time or day it is. Um, I could change that because in reality, I don't need the weather at night because I'm going to bed and I don't really care. Um, but I do obviously want it in the morning if I'm preparing to go out to work or whatever. So there are obviously more refinements and you can get it more and more complicated if you wish. Um, but this is just kind of what I've got so far as a working draft. And then we've got this entity card and that's got the different scenes that I'm going to use in the evening uh, and, and, a card, and a script to allow me to kind of run some of those scenes as well. Obviously got a media player. Again, I'm not sure why the mini media player card has, has started dying on me, um, but none of the buttons appear anymore. Not sure what that's about. And of course, a climate entity. And then at the bottom, we've got our two rows that link out into other dashboards. And admittedly, they don't. there's no way in those dashboards to link back at the moment. Um, I may put that in. I'm not sure. I think in reality, if you're wanting to do something on this page, you do it first and then you link somewhere else. And then you, when you reopen the app, it'll take you back to this page. Um, but only time can tell, really. And as you can see, you know, you can link out to the bedroom or to the K for the room specific stuff. And then you've got everything that's specific to the different entity types as well, if you want that. So we've created a very simple Lovelace dashboard that changes based on the time of day and gives you exactly what you want when you want it because I was finding so much that actually every morning I wanted the same buttons and every evening I wanted the same buttons, but I had to go through five different menus to find the buttons I wanted at that time. So that was a complete faff, but, but with this dashboard, it's all in one place. As always, I'll leave a link below to uh, GitHub where you can find the code for this dashboard, both the sensor code and the Lovelace YAML. Um, if you happen to know why my sensor is giving me a random arrow with three spaces, then please do let me know because that is currently baffling me. Not that it's a problem, it's just baffling. So there we go. That is a what you want when you want it Lovelace dashboard in Home Assistant. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and click the bell icon to find out more about my smart tech and how you can build yourself the ultimate smart home.